Hello, many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Real Hour review. Um, I've got here beer, um, as you can probably guess from the title, from the North Curry Brewery Company. Um, these are a very small little brewery in a village called North Curry near Taunton in Somerset. Um, lucky enough to sort of pick, I will turn these. It is bottle conditioned, but I'll try and do it steady so you can sort of read that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, um, it's a very small brewery. I don't really get a lot of views on this video, so I'm mainly doing it for my own sort of um, uh, thing, <laughs> record. Anyway, it's 5% uh, ABV. It's like the sort of Christmas beer. It's got a bit of holly on the top there. Um, I forgot about this beer. I had this up in the airing cupboard because their beers, the yeast tends to need to be warmed up a little bit. So I had it up in the airing cupboard and I brought it back down and put it in my cold beer cupboard. 500ml brown bottle, 5% ABV. Plain black crown. Um, yeah, and it's, they just need a bit of, to, they seem to be very flat if you keep them cold. Which isn't unusual for some of these small breweries, and I don't really tend to mind. Um, but they are a very good brewery, they've sort of got some lovely beers, and they're just sort of a good sort of regional local brewery, and I, I like that. Right, wow, mahogany in colour, no carbonation in it, one finger sort of tan coloured head. I'm getting some really lovely fruity aromas from it already. Oh wow! Almost getting a red wine from that. That's incredibly fruity. Stewed uh, cherries maybe. Or sugar, you know, stewed up with sugar and a lovely cherry pie. It smells very um, spicy, Christmassy. It smells Christmassy and spicy. Almost got a licorice in there as well. Very slight hint of licorice. It smells like it's going to be a really sweet winter warmer now. I can't wait to get into this. It looks really interesting. Cheers, everyone. Wow. It is as flat as a pancake. There is no carbonation in there whatsoever. Do you know what? That's a lie, there is. It's just very minimal. You only get it when you're sort of sipping the beer in. It's got that sort of spicy, fruity uh, taste, but it's almost a slight sort of, I wouldn't say chocolate malt or roasting malt, a certain crystal malt that uh, I don't know. Um, I'm not that much of an expert. You can taste the malt in it, but it's really dry, really dry beers. Not sweet at all. Very, very bitter. And that's good because it makes it very drinkable, very sessionable. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, yeah, there's a big yeast cake on the base of the beer. I'll have a quick read of it. Um, we have brewed a limited edition ale, especially for Christmas. This is the traditional winter ale made with pale crystal and chocolate malt. Oh, right, fair news. It has a gorgeous dark ruby colour, making it rich, full of flavour. We have used Pilgrim Bittering hops for added aroma, Cascade and Pacific Gem hops for a wild berry flavour. Oh, it's berry, not, not uh, um, cherries. But finally, we've added a hint of cinnamon to give it that, that flavour of Christmas. Uh, it's got all about bottle conditioning. Uh, www.thenorthcurrybrewery.co.uk.com That's a nice little beer. Um, I'm not a big fan of Christmas sales, but this one isn't too bad. But I wouldn't necessarily class it. If, I, if someone just gave me a pint of that, I wouldn't really know it was a Christmas ale. Which is good, because you can drink it all year round. It has got a very fresh quality to the water, the taste of the water in this beer. Really sort of spring water quality to it. Um, it's not a bad beer. Um, I'm not bored over with it, but 
I do actually really like it and I'd love to drink it on cask. I've never tried one of their beers on cask and I really want to try them to see if they've got a little bit more life in them because they've certainly got the flavour there. But they, they just the, they seem to have a little bit of an issue with their bottling. Um, but you can get the general gist of the beer. Now, now it's, not, it's a nice beer, this is going down really well and I could easily drink another couple more of those. Um, I think I'm going to give that it's going to get a 6 out of 10. It's a good, it's a good beer and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Thanks for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box and hopefully join me again soon for another review. Cheers.